Yo, whoa, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Dan, aka Drive. Pretty guys, another episode of our Pokemon Blaze Black, Nuzlocke, Egglock, Hardcore Shenanigans. If you missed the last one, check it out in the description below and show some love. Big shout out to all the A Drive Army Plus members, of course, who have been throwing it down. And uh, I'm gonna have some spoilers for you guys in just a second. We got absolutely wrecked on the last episode. Oh boy. Um. I don't know what's going on with these two. Charon's a little upset, and Bryson's like, who are you people? I'm Bianca, and this is Charon. Uh, and there's the Shadow Triad. So, uh, we the Shadow Triad are beings of shadows and not easily noticed. Our mission was to speak only with Adra, but so be it. Getsus has a message for you. Come to Dragon Spiral Tower. It is there that our Lord N waits for you, and our mission is complete. Well, again, spoilers, I got wrecked against uh, Bryson. And we lost half of our team. So we knew that this was gonna happen eventually, or at least I kind of felt like it was. This game is too hard for us to cruise, even with like really strong Pokemon, right? And I've had kind of a busted team along the way, but inevitably we were gonna run into a situation where we weren't gonna be able to kind of steamroll through. And an ice double battle was just that. So anyway, show some love guys. Like I said, hit that like button and subscribe if you guys are new. Let's pour one out some, for some of our fallen friends here. Because we really did have kind of a rough journey. Uh, and we are going to add our death toll up. Our buddy Durant goes down. Flick, of course. Trained in the fires with the heat mores. We got your eight guys. Game Boy Luke here. Beanie goes down. And Detective Casey Jones also goes down. And I am left with just the bulky mons, really. And they weren't even, like, that healthy. If you look at kind of how much health they had left... This was a close gym battle. So, anyway, my level cap right now is 65. I, if I'm not, I think it's 65. I'm gonna get everyone to 63, because that's about where I'm at right now, just to make sure, because I don't actually know when the 65 battle happens. Um, I'm gonna stock up on some potions, grab a few, I've got plenty of money right now. And um, I'm gonna figure out who I'm gonna add to the team, because I need to make a balanced team right now, and I do not have that. So, I'm actually gonna grab some of these too. And make sure I have plenty of super pals that you do. All right, let me figure out who I'm adding to the team. I might have an egg, too. Let me actually look. Okay, so I actually... I don't have an egg, but I do get an encounter here. And I think I can maybe... Oh, I can just get it in the water. So this is my encounter. It's Toxic Croak. Um, so I get an encounter here. And then I actually get one of Dragon Spiral. But again, I don't want to, like, engage in any of the battles yet. So let's just chip him down. And uh, I get a dispense. Oh, he just nasty plotted. Um, should I be worried? He probably doesn't have a dark move. I'll just night shade. Yeah, he's got Venice Shock. We should actually be fine. Yeah, it does nothing. Okay, cool. So let's catch this guy, and then let's swap it for an egg. And let's get the egg party started and, and kind of decide. I mean, obviously, I have a slacking, right? So, like, that's that. We have a slacking. So regardless of what takes place, we have that. All right, 1 to 197, and we're going to generate 68. Okay, so it's Messel. Oh, baby. It's going to be Messel. I already know it. I know who this is. This is a Shuckle. But how good is it going to be? It's got to be a shiny Shuckle. Messo, my dude. All right, all right, all right. This thing might be busted. But what is its ability is the question. I don't know what the most broken ability would be. Solid Rock, maybe? Intimidate. Oh, that's pretty good. Will-O-Wisp, Power Split, Sand Tomb, Recover. This thing's very good. This thing's very good. Very, very good. That's that's tough because I feel like that thing could cheese so many battles. I really feel like it would cheese so many battles. Okay, um, let's look in the box. Let's figure this out because, again, I got to figure out who I'm actually going to rock with. Oh, I have another egg. This Torkoal actually gets swapped for an egg too. And it's going to be number 109. Okay, so I think it's this one right here. And it's named Six with Choice Specs. Ooh, I'm excited. I don't know what this is. Six with two X's and a Choice Specs. So let's see. You probably already saw that I'm adding slacking to the team. That was a no-brainer. But what will Six with two X's be with a Choice Specs? It is Charizard, baby. Okay, okay. I see you. I see you with the specs. I like Charizard. Shiny Charizard, man. I mean, I like me a Charizard. It could be really strong. I'm curious what its ability is going to be. Speed boost would be pretty good. Let's take a look. 
Choice specs, modest, drought with flamethrower, solar beam, air cutter, nasty plot. I gotta use him. Yeah, I gotta use him. Okay, okay. Let's let's find some balance here on the team and then we'll uh, we'll go from there. All right, it's time to introduce some of our new members of the team. We got the boy Bob here with Guts, Flame Orb, and I know most people know Slackings to be, you know, kind of, uh, you know, they like to rest and take turns, uh, you know, attacking and things like this, but Bob is amped up on Shiny Splash G Fuel. Let me tell you, my man's been drinking that G Fuel, and he is amped up. His G Fuel allows him to attack at extreme speeds and just blister past the opponent and destroy them. Uh, he's actually one shot over 1,000 Pokemon in his life and uh, looks to carry the team with no doubt about it. Uh, the next member of our team is going to be Six here. Six arrived precisely when he intended to arrive once I had seven badges, so I would actually have enough badges to train him. Ready to rain down the flames on his opponents with Drought and was said to be forged from the power of the sun itself. Normally, Six starts his day off with a breakfast of lava and the tears of the Pokemon that he has destroyed. And last but not least, it's gonna be Lord Foog! Surprise, surprise! Lord Foog has arrived with the Choice Scarf, and it obviously has Serene Grace, which increases the likelihood of added effects. Can deal some big damage. U-turn, Waterfall, Headbutt, Iron Head, looking for those flinches. The thing about Lord Foog, and I'm gonna whisper this, is Lord Foog is actually an undercover Pokemon planted by Lord N himself and the Team Plasma Gang to disrupt the cohesiveness of the squad. He is an undercover spy, ladies and gentlemen, and the other Pokemon are very suspicious about Lord Foog, looking around the room and understanding that Lord Foog should probably not be here. Why is a Furret on this team of powerhouse tanks and offensive juggernauts? And of course, Lord Foog is the Hacks God. We're gonna find out whether or not Lord Foog ends up jeopardizing the run for the squad on the down low for Lord N himself, or if Lord Foog is going to turn sides and team up with the squad and ultimately stand on the team of good. But we must proceed now. I am gonna head north to Dragon Spire Tower and get this party started. I do have an encounter here as well, so let's grab that while we're at it. Caught it with a Pokeball, baby. Oh, an Ultra Ball. Hey, Adrive! Oh, it's Bianca! Oh, do I have to fight her? This might be our level uh, 65 level cap? Yeah, 65 level cap. You must be Bianca, I'm the other Professor Juniper. Juniper is uh, who gave you the Pokedex. Nice to meet you, thanks to Professor Juniper, I got to start my journey and figure out what's possible. I'm very grateful for her. Is that right? Grand Grand, we should chat later. Bianca, here's the situation. Some members of Team Plasma, quite a large group, broke through the tower wall and went inside. Bryce and that young man, I believe his name is Charon. The two of them went after Team Plasma, but... What's what's the Dragon Spiral Tower? I guess you'd be curious. Well, Dragon Spiral Tower has stood tall since long before Unova was founded. On the top floor, the legendary Dragon Sight Pokemon waits for a person pursuing ideals to appear. That's what it said. Are you gonna go after Team Plasma like your friend did? It's admirable of you to join the fight, but it's risky too. Don't worry, A Drive and Charon are really strong, and they both beat Team Plasma before. I'm not very strong, so I was thinking if maybe we could stay here and be your bodyguard. Oh, okay. I guess I'm climbing the tower. And he's gonna give me the old Gateau, and I guess I'm going in, so let's do it. Yeah, I should be able to beat up these Team Plasma goons. I love how he's, like, not even trying to fight me. Dragon Spiral Tower, baby! Oh, it's shaking and baking! Uh, is something going down at the top of the tower? Charon! What's up, dude? You can walk on the Fallen Columns, too. I'm going after Team Plasma. That's safe. He's like, yo, just walk on these big columns here. That, that'll that be super safe, dude. Okay, so I apparently missed strength because I don't have it. So now I got to go back and figure out where I missed strength. There it is. Got it. I'm surprised I missed this because I've been pretty good at like talking to everybody, but that's all good. Oh, uh, here we go. Adrive, we'll hold him here. You go on ahead. Go on ahead where? Who am I supposed to go on ahead to? You? Oh, I guess I'm battling these guys. All right. Well, these shouldn't be too hard. Um, I've got some pretty powerful stuff. Yeah, we're, we're a good level ahead. Uh, I, get, I do get uh, intimidated, but I'm curious, actually. I'll just U-turn, actually. Get a little U-turn action going, and then we can go into one of our new members, Bop. Making his debut, drinking that G Fuel. The fact is, this guy is actually crazy. Like, Guts, Flame Orb, doesn't have to be status. Can just deal massive damage as a result. 
I mean, he's gonna be he's gonna be pretty solid, dude. I do have to balance the fact that I am taking damage though every turn, but like, look at that. That's insane. I feel like Lord Foog's about to die. Oh no, he lived, he lived, he lived. I tried to go for the flinch strat, so we didn't actually get a flinch. <laughs> it, didn't work. it only works if I get flinches, you know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, this, this muck should be easy work here. He's gonna sludge bomb me, but I can't be poisoned because I'm already burned. Aha, uh -huh. look at me go. Oh, here we go. It's finally time our Lord N will become the hero. What, well, someone made it clear up here? Stop that trainer for our Lord N. All right, I guess I gotta battle these dudes. Yeah, I don't know, what is this What is this battle? It's just like 1v1, okay. I think we'll be all right. I'll use Lord Fug and uh, what is you turn and I'll let you guys know if anything happens, but this should be pretty easy. All right, clean them up pretty easily. Um, looks like everyone's relatively healthy. I might just want to heal up real quick. And there's Lord N doing his thing with Reshiram. Hey, this is sick, dude. Look at that. Yeah, I remember at the time, this was like top tier graphics, bro. I was blown away. It looks super cool. What do you think, A-Drive? How do you like the powerful form of the Pokemon who appears before and fights besides the hero that will lead the way to a new world? That's a run on sentence. Now, Zekrom and I will head to the Pokemon League and defeat the champion. This will be the last of the Pokemon battles that hurt Pokemon. A world for Pokemon alone. It's finally going to be a reality. And he's just gonna float on out here. If you want to stop me, you must become a hero as well. That's right, when Zekrom's counterpart, Reshiram, recognizes you, we will finally be even, and then you can try to stop us. What will you do? My prediction, if the future that I see is true, you will meet Reshiram. The Pokemon with you believe in you so strongly. Will you be the one who interferes with my formula for changing the world? If you want to proceed or protect the bonds between Pokemon and people, you must search for Reshiram. I'm sure of it is waiting for you in the form of the White Stone. <laughs> the Zekrom just zooms in and takes him. Oh, man. Hey, Drive, did you see what just flew off now? How could this happen? That was that guy, N. Why was he with the legendary Pokemon? He couldn't really be the hero, could he? Also, did I help tell him to... Did I hear him tell you to search for the other legendary? Calm down. First, we go back. It's important to decide what to do than just analyze what just happened. Astounding. I would have never imagined the legendary dragon type Pokemon would return now. That guy called the end. Team Plasma's boss apparently reawakened the legendary Pokemon. He told Adrow to look for the other legendary, then flew away. Huh. There are two legendary dragon type Pokemon? Yes, yes, there are. Drayden? Alder! Why, if it isn't Alder, it's been a while. Have you been well? No time for chit chat. These violent flashbacks of lightning that shot from the tower. That Pokemon has the power to destroy the world! If it's on Team Plasma's side and Team Plasma tell everyone to release their Pokemon, no matter whether it comes from fear or admiration, the world can't help but change. It will become a world where we are separated from Pokemon. Right, moreover, the boss of Team Plasma, N, who reawakened Zekrom, apparently said to look for the other Pokemon, Reshiram. If I remember the myth, Zekrom's power electricity, along with the other Pokemon, devastated ancient Unova in an instant. Even knowing that, N is still waiting to awaken the other. Isn't it dangerous to bring back a Pokemon that powerful? Miss, you are a very kind person. I don't know if other Pokemon will be able to stand up to it because no matter what, it is a legendary being. I don't like the, the idea of taking orders from N, but searching for the dragon, the stone, might not be a bad plan. We certainly can't let Team Plasma reawaken both of them. Since I've traveled all over Unova, I have an idea where it might be. Let's head to the Relic Castle. A, a Drive, everyone, I'm going. All right, I guess we're heading to Relic Castle then. All right, chair and stop me. That's the entrance to Relic Castle. You're impressive, making it here before I did. Dealing with the Desert's Resort Pokemon took longer than what I would have thought. I only made it all the way here thanks to my Pokemon. All right, let's go ahead. Gets has told us that once again, we should test how much power you have. We'll see if you can defeat Team Plasma. Oh my God, these guys don't quit, do they? They are very annoying. Ah, I made it all the way down. And here's Charon as well. Woo, I finally caught up. You two, come here, come to my side. It looks like everyone is here. It seems you are working hard to resurrect Reshiram, the other dragon type Pokemon, aren't you? But it appears the light stone you seek is not here. Well then, congratulations are in order, A-Drive. You were chosen by our king. 
If you truly desire to keep the world as it is, where Pokemon live alongside people, you must bring the other Dragon-type Pokemon, spoken of legend, and battle with our king. Otherwise, Team Plasma will steal every Pokemon from every person in the world and release them all. Release them, you say. Do the Pokemon who live with their trainers actually want that? Is the liberation you talk about really just stealing Pokemon from people? What's this, Champion Alder? Even though your illness took the Pokemon that had been your partner for many years, you haven't had a serious battle in all that time. Even you, who ordered the Elite Four to protect the Pokemon League and left to wander the Univer region alone. Even a champion like you now wants to protect a world where Pokemon and people live together. Team Plasma's King will show the people of Unova that he is stronger than a champion who keeps Pokemon bound. And just like the hero who founded Unova, he will be accompanied by the legendary Pokemon. He will give this order. Trainers, release your Pokemon. For this, we have prepared a suitable castle for the legendary Zekrom and our King. I won't lose. I'll fight for all trainers who love their Pokemon and all the Pokemon who believe in their trainers. Our King has no interest in you. He has already determined that victory against you is assured. So you're stayed behind just to tell me that, just to make a fool of me. Of course not. I'm doing this out of kindness. I'm making sure that Champion doesn't get hurt for no reason. Granted, the moment when someone loses all hope, I really do love to watch that moment. Well then, farewell. Dang, he just hit him with it. That's the Champion you're talking to. It seems my only choice is to return to the Pokemon League in Battle End, but it bothers me to do exactly what Getsis wants. More importantly, what should we do about the Lightstone? Why don't we go outside for now? Yes, that's a good idea. It's hard to breathe in here. And they go out in the sandstorm because it's easier to breathe out here. It's hard to put this in the words, but I'll never forgive them for this. What could that guy and possibly want? Could he try to be prove he's right by winning the Battle of Two Dragons? Hey, it's the professor. Uh, come to the museum in Knock Green City immediately. Oh my goodness. I guess we're going to Knock Green. Your boy doesn't have fly, so I have to take the long way. All right, what's going on here, guys? Hmm, Lenora. The stone found in the desert. Yes, that's right, but is it really a dragon type Pokemon? Surely, when I investigated Dragon Spy Tower, I found elements that were dated to the same era as the Light Stone. I looked into that. Impressive as always, but you know, we're lucky because what if Team Plasma like noticed that old stone? That's a good point. It's clear to me that they were trying to steal the Dragon Skull so they could revive the legendary Dragon-type Pokemon. If you would, A-Drive, take this. If you take this Light Stone, that means you'll be the one to battle N if anything happens to me. Are you okay with that? I'm ready to go. Let's get it. If things don't go as planned, you'll use this Light Stone. You'll, use, you'll protect the true future for us and Pokemon. I love how they just give it to this, this random kid, right? Like, I'm just some kid with seven badges right now. How do we wake the dragon Pokemon from the stone? That's it, we've got them, don't we? We've got those two. A-Drive, go to Opelucid. The gym leader of that city uses dragon type Pokemon. The gym leader could know something. I'll head and wait for you there, until then. All right, we're going to Opelucid then. Opelucid City straight and might know something. Never forget that you always have Pokemon right by your side. All right, so we're going to Opelucid. All right, so this is my Route 8 encounter. It's a stun fisk I fished up. I'm just gonna catch it and uh, we can swap for an agate a little bit. And this is another location called the Moor of Icarus, which I'm not really familiar with, but I guess I can get an encounter here too, so let's do that. It's the Weezing, that's the encounter. Hey, Drive! All right, I was waiting for this fight because my level cap's 65 and my team is like right there, so I'm a little nervous because it only goes up to 66 for uh, the gym leader, so. Uh, we have to be, oh, it's a triple battle too. I have to be kind of careful because if my team over levels, I'm in a bit of a trouble. Uh, I can go one more level with the team. Um, all right, so let's think about this because this is actually not an easy situation for me. Let's go. Misharna, Miensha, okay, I'm gonna Icy Wind. I'm going to Flamethrower and get rid of the Miensha and then I'm gonna will o -Wisp, the Persian. This should one-shot me and Chow. I have to just make sure I don't go to 67 with anyone is the key here. Because my level cap now raises to 66, so we're actually fine. He nasty plotted, so I have to actually get rid of Persian now. He reflects, which is fine. He's burned. This should be okay. Like, I think I'm okay in this fight. Here comes a Simi Sage. Yeah, I don't care about that. All right, we're gonna Icy Wind again, and then I'm gonna get rid of the Persian. And then I'm gonna go for the Willow into Masharna. So, obviously six is just a monster, and just one-shots the whole world. So that's the good news. 
Icy Wind will make sure he slows down, so I definitely don't die to him. I probably could have air cut it as well and just destroyed things too. I missed. And Hypnosis hits our boy Rainbow. Moody activates again, which is fine. Here comes an Embor. Okay, this thing was ground. Okay, I need to go like all out onslaught on the Embor in my mind and make sure Rainbow doesn't go down here. I read the comments and it said that it was ground type. I'm actually very nervous with six out here. I don't think I leave him in. I think I go Bob. Because he could have a rock move, and if he has a rock move, I, I die. So I kind of want to go Bob. And then go for maybe the Hex onto Masharna and get rid of him. Yeah, let's do that. This is a little sketchy, I'm not going to lie. Hex. This should knock out the Masharna. He's got a Kasib Berry. He lives. Focus Blast misses on Rainbow. Bulk up Embor. That's a problem. And Simi Sa Misharna Psychics into Bob, which does a lot. Okay. Moody activates. I need to get rid of... I think the biggest threat right now is... I'm going to Icy Wind. I'm going to Drain Punch into the Embor. And I'm gonna Nightshade into the Embor too. I need to get rid of the Embor. That does nothing. That's bad. Focus Blast, Simi Sage misses. Oh, he hits this time. Oh, I'm in trouble. I might lose Bob. I'm losing Bob. Man. He's gonna knock out like half his team with Earthquake right now. I needed to just keep six on the field. That was a mistake. I needed to just keep it on the field. I would have been fine. And I just kind of ignored the fact that he had. That's so dumb, dude. He was in my lotting. Oh my god, we're not we're not done yet. Okay. Um. I think the play is I try attack, Milotic, I Specs, Air Cutter, all three, and then I think I Nightshade, Embor. Okay. Okay. Nightshade into Embor. Gets the Embor KO. I'm protected from a rock move. Now I just gotta take a water move. Try attack does hit as well. I'll take a freeze. A para works. Get fully paralyzed. I forgot that he had the reflect, dude. That actually makes so much sense now. Air cutter. And I'm specs, by the way, which is why I can't solar beam here. He's got a citrus berry. Nightshade comes off. Try attack comes off. I don't think he one shots me. He dragon tails. We're fine. Ah, uh, dude. I can't believe I just lost Bob. I'm actually kind of devastated over that. Actually, kind of devastated over that. Man, oh, he's gonna full restore too. So not even gonna, not even gonna let me do it. All right, headbutt doesn't do anything. Air cutter does nothing. Air, uh, we're gonna, we got this battle, but I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. I lost Bob, dude. Focus Blast. It's easy to say I should have switched and I should have. I don't know. I hate you, Bianca. I hate you so much. Leave me alone. I don't want to talk to you. Don't, I don't want to talk to you. I'm going to Opa Lucid. Leave me alone. This bridge is pretty dope. Wait, who is that? Do I have a battle? I don't think I have a battle. I'm down a mon. Should I be worried? Should I be worried? It's the Shadow Triad. Come. We brought you the one you wanted. Excellent. It seems that you have obtained the Lightstone. I congratulate you on the job well done. It is my Lord N's thought that the two holders of the legendary Pokemon should put their beliefs in the line and strive to find out which is the true hero. This is not necessary. From his infancy, I provided him with the education required to become the hero of legend. Indeed, he has been so acknowledged by the legendary Pokemon. Such purity of purpose is his. 
The liberation of Pokemon of which I, of which Team Pasma speaks, is the separation of Pokemon from foolish people. That's the truth. All trainers will become helpless to resist us. We alone will be able to use Pokemon. The preparations are complete. When my perfect plan is set in motion, first a few gullible Pokemon trainers who are unable to resist Team Plasma will release their Pokemon. Then that number will become a hundred, then a thousand. In no time, even the gym leaders and the champion will be unable to fight us. Having a Pokemon will be considered a bad thing. Even people like this sad little Bianca whose Pokemon was stolen in Castilia will be able to, will be unable to face public opinion and release their Pokemon. That's the kind of world we'll make. You may have the stone, but there's no chance whatsoever the legendary Pokemon will accept you as the hero. So if you're not willing to hand over your precious Pokemon, I suggest you search for some courage, because you're gonna need it. Hit him, hit him with the propaganda, though. Like, my man's just, like, trying to chip you away. You know? They, they bring you down. All right, so we do get a nine encounter here as well, so let's grab that. It's a Gothita. Got him. All right, I made it to Opie Lucid. A drive this way. Oh, my goodness. Whew, there's a lot of story in this episode, guys. What a liar, desperately trying to crawl on everyone with his speech. That's correct, our Lord N has combined the power with the legendary dragon type Pokemon and intends to create a new world. We herald the return of the hero of Unova, founder of this region. Pokemon are different from people. They are living beings who contain unknown potential. They are living beings from whom we humans have much to learn. They are beings whose greatness we should acknowledge. Beings who should be freed from our oppression. We, Team Plasma, invite you to join us. We want to create a new world where people and Pokemon are both free. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask you now, please release your Pokemon. And so I end my plea with you today. Thank you for your attention. Who's going to actually listen, though? Like, who's going to be like, sure, I'll just release my Pokemon. Why not? Why not? This guy, this guy in the cloak said, he said to do it. Is it true? Have we been making Pokemon suffer? Maybe we should release our Pokemon like Team Plasma says. Without Pokemon, I'll be lonely and sad. Same, bro. Same. Drayden and Iris. What was that about? The speech was off the charts, strange. The cooperation of Pokemon and people is how Unova came to exist to begin with. If a Pokemon really didn't want anything to do with humans, it would simply leave. Capture a Pokemon in a Pokeball doesn't mean you've captured its heart. Let's go, A-Drive. It's been a while, Iris and Drayden. Oh, Mr. Older and the guy who helped out that time. What's wrong? What does the wandering champion who left the Pokemon League need from us? Briefly, my request is this. Tell us about the legendary dragon type. Are you talking about Zekrom or Reshiram? What about the sudden interest? Moments ago, a troublemaker known as Getsis was here. He said a trainer named N has a reawakened Zekrom. Yes, that trainer called N apparently told A-Drive here to search for the other dragon type. Let me check that I have this straight. This N or what you what have you presumes that the to set the two dragon type Pokemon against each other in battle to test his convictions. Oh no, the dragon type Pokemon get along so well. That's right, Iris. The ones who make Pokemon battle are the trainers. And it's so the trainers and the Pokemon can get to know each other better. I'm going to the Pokemon League. I guess in this case I should say I'm returning to the Pokemon League. Of course, I'll defeat N. I'll teach him about the beauty of this world where Pokemon and trainers live together in harmony. Hey Drive, I'll await your arrival. Once you've attained the Opelucid badge, come to the League. The Opelucid gym leader is tough. Take care. Farewell, I'm counting on you, Drayden and Iris. All right. Oh, he's gone. Is he okay? He looked kind of scary. Don't worry, Iris. He's the strongest trainer in all of Unova. Come to my home. As Alder asks, I'll tell you everything I can about the legendary dragon type. You beat up. You bet. If it's Opie Lucid City, I can take you anywhere. As for the story of Zekrom and Reshiram, we'll tell you all we know. This way. All right, let's check out Drayden's home here. I'll explain. What you're holding is the Lightstone. Reshiram, who will likely awaken from the Lightstone, and Zekrom, who is already awake, were once the same Pokemon. That single dragon Pokemon along with twin heroes brought a new region into being, and people and Pokemon had happy lives. One day, however, the twin heroes, the older brother who sought the truth and the younger brother who sought ideals, began to argue about how to decide which one of them was right. The single dragon type Pokemon that had been with them all that time split its body into two. One sided with the older brother and the other sided with the younger brother. In its pursuit ideals, the black dragon type sought to usher in a new and better world. Its name was Zekrom. And the other, the white dragon type, sought truth and to usher in a new world, a world of good. Its name was Reshiram. Because the two of them were actually once the same entity, they battled raged endlessly and neither one could be declared the winner. They simply exhausted themselves. The twin heroes proclaimed that there was no one side that was right and ceased the conflict. The two heroes' sons started the battle again and an instant later, Zekrom and Reshiram destroyed Unova with lightning and fire. Then, they disappeared. But, if people work with Pokemon in the right way, we don't have to worry anymore about the world being destroyed. I mean, Zekrom and Reshiram worked hard for everyone and made a new region, so it should all be right, I think. 
True, Pokemon cannot speak. People, in po people may hurt Pokemon even more by imposing their selfish thoughts on them. But no matter what, people in Pokemon to believe in each other, need each other, and will continue to live together. Yeah, so I'm never gonna forgive Team Plasma for trying to separate Pokemon and us. We got a little off topic. This is everything we know. We don't know how to wake up the legendary Pokemon. I made a promise to Alder. You must win the gym badge from the Opie Lucid Pokemon gym. I'll be waiting for you at the gym. All right, well, I have a member that I need to get and I gotta hatch some eggs, so I believe our level cap is now 66, which I'm right about at anyway. And uh, we've got a few eggs to hatch, so let's kind of figure out what we're gonna do here. Um, but a very big rest in peace to my boy Bop, who was drinking G Fuel, man, and just couldn't couldn't do it, man. He got focus blasted to the face. I've got four eggs, I think, actually. So let's do that. I've got these four eggs. So let's see what we can get here. All right, first one's gonna be number 72. All right, I think it's this right here, so let's swap for that egg. And its name is Tanky Boy with the eject button. Tanky Boy, all right, let's see what Tanky Boy is. I mean, take a guess, right? I hope he's very tanky. It's probably Shedinja. This is Shedinja, probably. It's a Gastrodon, okay. Tanky Boy. Is he Sap Sipper? I'm just gonna throw it out there right now. I feel like there's a chance he's Sap Sipper. Multi, oh, that's, it's got a mean multi-scale. That's pretty good. Sap Saber would have been really good too though. All right, next up we've got 185. And we got Bot Lax with leftovers. Bot Lax with leftovers. It's gotta be a Snorlax, right? Bot Lax. It is a Snorlax, of course. And we'll name it Bot Lax. And Botlax is impish with multi-scale as well. Dragon Dance Fly Extreme Speed. <laughs> Alrighty then. And next one is 35. Luca with a lucky egg. Okay, Luca. Let's see what Luca is. Probably Lucario. Luca with a lucky egg. It's a Flygon, yo! Actually, might be huge. Considering the gym, right? We're about to do dragon type jam. If this thing is, is like good, it could be clutch for us. Huge power, Luca! It's time, it's time. That's what we were waiting for right there. That's what we were waiting for right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's it. That's the ticket of all the Pokemon. I throw a choice scarf on that thing and I feel like we can go to town. That's, that's awesome. I have one egg left. Let's find out what it's gonna be. It's 96. Espert with an expert belt. Espert. Let's see what Espert is. Swampert? Swampert! I feel like this could be the Sap Sipper one. Or is it like a Psychic Swampert? ESP? Sap Sipper with Crab Hammer, Ice Punch, Earthquake, Fire Punch. There it is. I like it. All right, you already know we gotta run Choice Scarf, Huge Power, Jolly Luca. I know he has Dragon Dance, but I feel like Dragon Claw U-Turn Earthquake is probably all I need anyway. So I am gonna go head to the gym and see what we can do here against Drayden. All right, here it is with the two Dragon Heads. Very cool. All right, it's time to throw down against Drayden the Dragon Master. This has been a long episode, man. I've recorded almost two hours. Let me know your favorite Dragon type Pokemon is in the comments section below. Let's get it. He's the mayor of the city, and let's see what he has in store for us today. Mr. Drayden and his dragon types, level 66, level cap. And it's a rotation battle. Drudagon, Charizard, Flygon. Okay. <laughs> All right, I mean, listen, I've got Luka. I'm gonna trust in Luka here. I'm gonna just click Dragon Claw and see if that can take me to the promised land. That is my plan. Uh, Drudagon should be one shot here unless he's carrying a Haban Berry, I think. Okay, good start. Rough skin, deal a little damage there, it's fine. I mean, I'm Choice Scarf. He's Rough Skin, Rocky Helmet, by the way, so that's a thing. Uh, that's a good start for us, though. Here comes Kingdra. I think I legitimately click Dragon Claw until I can't anymore because I should be one shotting everything unless they have Haban Berries. Or Sash. Okay, Kingdra's down. He's got a pretty good diverse team. I mean, 
I don't know if this is... Okay, he's gonna intimidate me now. He doesn't. I'm clicking Dragon Claw again. Oh, this could be bad. I don't know if I one-shot Charizard. I might just be cheesing right now with Luca, but like... He's Sash Zard. If he Dragon Pulses me, I'm dead. He's Salad Berry! Belly Drum. Oh. Oh. He wasn't Sash. He's got a Hyper Potion. I think I, I think, I mean, I'm Scarf, so I'm gonna assume I'm faster here. It doesn't even really matter. Okay. You know what I should do, honestly? Let us, let's rotation and Ice Beam. Why am I gonna risk Luka getting hit if, if he's faster? He's Fire Punch. I live that anyway, but like, Belly Drum Zard. Woohoo! All right. Shen John should be fine. Bam, what? Shen John should be A okay right now. I get a little speed boost, which is nice. Here comes a Haxorus. That's his ace. Uh, oh, I just accidentally misclicked. That's bad. If he dragon dances, I'm actually wrecked. He outrages. I'm kind of wrecked still. Okay. Um. That misclick is really bad. I think I actually just Willow here. I think I rotate to Dust Bops and Willow. He outraged again, but I need to weaken him a little bit. Ooh. He's Life Orb. He's confused. Don't miss Dust Bops. Let's get it. Okay. Okay. Um. What do I get? I, a defense? Yes! I got defense! Let's go, Dust Bobs! Alright, let's click recover. He's gonna stay in. He hydro pumps my special defense, Dust Bobs! No. <gasps> oh, Dust Bobs! Praise the ugliest Pokemon! Always in a bad mood! He's angry, but he is gonna clutch up and live a hydro pump. Oh my god. Goodness. Oh my goodness. Dust Bobs. So big. So big. Okay. I think I just do the thing. We just go back into Luka. We click Dragon Claw. There's still a chance of a Focus Sash, though. If we're being real. I think we're clutching, dude. I think we're gonna make it. I think we're gonna make it. Oh, baby, Luca. Finish off Drayden with a dra- Oh, God. Oh, God. It defaults back to the first slot in rotation battles, and it almost made me click Earthquake, but I'm Scarf, so it doesn't work. Let's go! We got all eight badges, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. That's what I'm talking about. Luca comes in at the end and destroys Drayden. That was close. I almost lost Bops. I get my eighth badge. Let's get it. Like the video if you guys enjoyed this one. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Pokemon Blaze Black Hardcore Egg Lock. Dragon Tail's mine as well. Let me know your favorite dragon type. That's it. That's it. That's where we're at. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace out. Bye. <laughs>